Hello, welcome to Alex and Emmy's Soda Pop Stop. This is episode eight. One of these times I'm gonna remember to look that up before we start recording. I'm Alex. No, I'm Emmy. And uh, this week we're going to do another flavor of a um, soda from a company we've already done before, which is Flathead Lake. And um, we are this week going to do Sour Cherry. Now, uh, if you watch our Flathead Lake episode, uh, we talked about the um, legend of the monster from Flathead Lake, which is the creature that they have given sunglasses and made their mascot. Uh, kind of like a like Loch Ness Monster, but for Montana? Were they in Montana? Anyway, Minnesota, Montana, one of those M states where um, Flathead Lake is. And uh, the legend told of the discovery of this monster by the Native American tribe who um, escaped upon discovering the monster bursting out of the frozen lake by turning into a ball and a... A buckskin target. Yeah, a buckskin target. Uh, I guess an archery stand, target stand. I know what it means. Um, which we decided were the weirdest superpowers ever. So, this episode, while tasting sour cherry for Flathead Lake, we are going to discuss worthless superpowers. I thought of two. Don't know how many. I told, her to, I told her to think of five. She thought of two. I thought of five. But mm. sour cherry first. Smells Cheers. like cherry. Well, duh. It's sour cherry. I would hope it would smell like cherry. It smells like Does vinegar. Smell like... Don't drink it. The thing is, it actually smells like actual cherry. Not just like cherry flavor, you know? It's good. There's a bit of sourness to it. Yeah. But it's not like, it's you not know, like a terrible sour. It's not like overwhelming. Yeah, it's just like a, like a it's lemony, like, like sour, it's there. you know? It's just there. Um, it's good flavor. Since we've already covered the history of Flathead Lake and their sodas and the monster in the lake, we're going to discuss terrible superpowers. My first terrible superpower is invincibility, but it's only in, like, your right shin. <laughs> so it's like... You're, you're invincible, you can't be hurt, but it's only in your right shin, which is like the most pointless place to be invincible, right? Like if how many... it were like your torso, that's good. Right, like, but nobody's going to attack you in your shin. Maybe. Maybe if they're you, sneak you could, attacking. You could be a really good soccer player, you know, because they have to wear shin guards and everything, and they quite often accidentally get kicked in the shins when people are like Yeah, but then the what if you get kicked in your left shin? Well, then you're screwed. <laughs> so you just wear one shin guard. You just wear your left shin guard. So it it has its uses, but not for like saving Good the world. Good things. Yeah, not for saving the world or anything. My second one is teleportation, but you can't decide where. Oh God! What if you end up in a shark's mouth? <laughs> that wouldn't be my first thought for possibilities, but <laughs> it could happen because you can't decide where. I think it's always gonna, like, you're always gonna be in trouble for it. Because you're, you're always gonna teleport and end up teleporting right in front of somebody or something that would see you, and then you'll be like an experiment for the government, you know? That's Just what, don't use your power. That's what I think the most, like, if superpowers existed in the real world, the most likely to undo the person would be the fact that if anybody saw you using them, you would immediately become a government experiment. Like you would be captured and like cut open and tested on or something, you know? Like you would never 
just be able to be allowed to like live your life fly around the city saving people because they'd be like holy crap that person's flying we need to capture him and figure out how he's doing that yeah. Instead of going after the supervillain, the government goes after the superhero. Well, of course. Do supervillains exist in this reality? No, but if they did, in I think super. Th you want to do one of yours? Super. Sure. Um, one of two. One of mine was it's to be able to change your eye color. That'd be interesting, but totally useless. The only use I can think. You could for coordinate it, you it with your outfit. Yeah, the only thing use I can think of it for like something actually useful is like hiding. Like if you always carry a wig and another outfit on you, then you could change your eye color, put the wig on, and change into the outfit, and you'd be a whole new person. But you, that's not. You could use it to try to get away with crimes or something, but I feel like it wouldn't fool anybody. You know. They wouldn't know how you did it, but they wouldn't be like, that person looks exactly like the criminal, except he has brown eyes instead of blue eyes, so it <laughs> must not be him. Like, you know, they would still know that it was you, but they just, they wouldn't know how you changed your eye color, but they would still know it was you. Can you, can you, like, tattoo your eyes to different colors? You Is mean, that like, a thing? like, color contacts? Well, no, color contacts would just be removable. But can you permanently change your eye color? Like, could they, like, tattoo ink I don't know. in there? I feel like if that's not something that's happened already, that would be something that will happen eventually. You have weird thoughts. You wouldn't want to have a needle repeatedly stab you in the eye? No. For art? Why not? I can buy you got those people. contact. <laughs> you got those people that turn themselves into animals. Like, there's a guy that turned himself into a lizard and he like Bro, split his that. tongue he split his tongue and, and like he put like, carved, studs he all carved down. his teeth so to make his he has yeah. sharp teeth so you don't think that guy would tattoo his eyes green he totally would or like i don't know if lizards have green eyes green or yellow they have yellow green or yellow yeah probably that guy would be immediately doing lizard that. man i saw him in the Webster's, um... Webster's Dictionary? No, it's not Webster's, it's, um... Uh, are you thinking of... If you own a Canon PowerShot Elf 300 HS, tell me how to make it not stop recording at 10 minutes. Because I, I made it, I thought, so that the lens would retract and we would know when it shut off immediately. But it didn't happen. So, you saw about the lizard man in Ripley's Believe It or Not. That was the name of it that you got from school. My last one. So we're missing two of mine, right? Yeah, you did your last last, but then you... Okay, so mine is, uh, see 30 seconds into the future, but only on the opposite side of the world. So you see what's going to happen into the future, but it's on the total opposite end of the world. So there's no way you could contact the people to warn them that, like, a bomb's going to go off or something. So, like, if you're in, in the U.S., you can see what's going to happen in Australia you know, or if you go down to South America, you can see what's going to happen in uh, Russia or China or I don't know, whatever the opposite is. But there's no way you could contact them because you couldn't even make like a phone call in 30 seconds, you know. Okay. Are we, are we missing two of mine or one? You're really destroying the fourth wall here. One. The one I didn't write down? We're, we're attempting to recreate the, the last couple minutes that we lost uh, by the camera shutting off. Your last one was the burning okay. finger. You can set any of your fi 
fingers on fire without them burning, but it sets you, the corresponding toe on fire, and it does burn. So, like I said in the actual video, <laughs> initially, you could give somebody a burning foot. Uh, uh, initially, she just said you could set your pointer finger on fire and it wouldn't hurt, but it would hurt your your uh, toe. And uh, and then we were talking about it for a little bit, and then she mistakenly said middle finger. You could set your middle finger on fire, which would be hilarious. Because like, you could flip, because you could burning flip someone off. I might use that. <laughs> I mean, it might be worth a burnt middle toe, for just for some like ra like rare cases of people I really hate. You know, like. You're going to quit your job and you want to say what's what to your boss on the way hey out. Hey, boss. You give him a flaming middle finger. <laughs> that might be worth it. So, yeah, that was uh, those were all of our powers that we talked about. What useless superpowers can you think of? Uh, Comment down below. Yeah, drop them in the comments. We'll uh, talk about useless superpowers. Um, this was... Cherry, sour cherry by Flathead Lake. Solid, Yay. solid good flavor as you can see by Emmy chugging it. You're gonna make that go flat. You're just like doom, doom, up and down. It's not going to go flat. The other one, the other one, it's not going, it's not going to have time. Chug, 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 chug. Oh, you stopped. Feels weird in my throat, Chuck. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh, the other flavor we did by Flathead Lake was Huckleberry, and uh, also a solid flavor. So oh, you can find Flathead it's really Lake sour if you chug. Gourmet Cherry. <laughs> Don't uh, chug the sour cherry though, or else it's really sour. It feels really give it a go, weird. Give it a go. It's not like sour, but it's like if you suck a lemon, it like feels like that, but it doesn't taste like that. Why are you sucking on lemons? <laughs> I've never actually done that. I've sucked on a lime. Why? Because <laughs> Lisa likes lime with her tacos or whatever. Or quesadillas, I think. And she gave me a lime. And I put some sugar on it and sucked it. Okay. Interesting. Now. That was the last of our episode, our mm -hmm. weird superpowers in honor of the Native American tribe that discovered the lake monster that totally doesn't exist. And two girls. And have. turned in themselves into we'll ridiculous things. Uh, give Flathead Lake a shot if you can find it in your local store. Uh, that was the end of our episode, and we will be back with another weird soda next week. Goodbye. Chug, 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 chug. Woo! You're supposed to like slam, don't slam it, it's glass. Yeah.